secure the border and prevent people from entering illegally only because of their unprecedented effort in a challenging terrain uh, and sweltering conditions, uh, and they were up to the task. And similarly, their fellow soldiers up and down the entire border from here all the way to El Paso are working in the same way. And I have the same gratitude for all National Guard from here to El Paso and DPS troopers from here to El Paso for working around the clock to make sure that we build the barriers that are needed and we deploy the personnel that are needed to make sure that we secure the border. Now, never forget this. It was just three years ago in these exact same areas where we had the lowest number of illegal border crossings in about 40 years. And the reason it was that way is because we had an administration that imposed the Title 42 policy, the Remain in Mexico policy, the ending of catch and release, and the building of a border wall. When Joe Biden came in, he eliminated all of those measures, and that led to the unprecedented illegal border crossings. Texas has had to respond to the Biden administration's refusal to enforce the immigration laws. We've deployed more National Guard, thousands of National Guard, uh, than ever before in the history of the state, more than a 1,000 Texas Department of Public Safety troopers. They have turned back tens of thousands of people who are trying to cross the border illegally. Together, just Texas law enforcement alone have seized enough deadly fentanyl to kill every man, woman, and child in the entire United States of America and to relieve congestion and crowded conditions in communities ranging from Brownsville to Eagle Pass to Del Rio all the way to El Paso. We are busing people who the Biden administration has allowed into those communities to sanctuary cities across the United States. And in, in addition to this Constantina wire border wall that you see,